Yep, Chase, go, or, uh, sorry, Tracy, go ahead. Hey, Chase, how you doing, man? How's it going, Tracy? Good. So, uh, would you consider yourself a veteran at this point? This is, you've been here, you're going into, well, it'll be your third year, second spring. Well, can't really count that other spring practice, but um, how do you feel in terms of grasp of the offense, uh, just comfort level with the offense? How do you feel at this point? Um, I think over time, you just learn more and more, especially with playing experience. And I feel more confident, more comfortable with myself and can focus on more specific things when I'm behind the center. Uh, there's certain things I'm trying to get cleaned up. But as far as coming out here each day, I'm just playing at this point. And it's a really free feeling. It makes football more fun. And I'm excited to get it each day. What would you say you're working on in those things that you, you mentioned? Uh, during the spring, you always want to clean up the little stuff. Once you get closer to the season, closer to the fall, it's more about execution. During spring, you want to clean up footwork. You want to clean up timing. And you want to just continue to improve on your throwing. I made some strength gains over these past three or four months after season. And I'm excited to see a little bit more pop on the ball. But you know, each day, I'm getting better. It's great that we were able to push spring this far. That way, we can have a continuous stretch where we're just getting better each day. Thanks. Thank you. Tony, go ahead. Hey, Chase, how you doing? How's it going, Tony? Good, thanks. Hey, what's it like with the new quarterback coach, Ryan Gunderson? How is it different in this camp versus other camps with uh, Dana Bible? I mean, first off, I just I want to thank Coach Bible for you know his time here. I think he definitely had uh, impact just on coming in and working with him every day. As far as Coach Gundy, every coach has their different style. Um, I like Coach Gundy's style. He's very personable, but you know he's just like Coach Bible as far as getting on the details. And at the quarterback position, you can't really ask for any other aspect to be changed about that. So I think that just like I grew under Coach Bible, uh, I can grow with Coach Gundy as well. And now the receivers have a new coach, obviously also with, with Jerry, new Heisel. Do you see any difference in how you're working with the receivers? Because you've got the two key positions now, the skill positions with different coaches. Do you notice any difference in camp? Um, as far as camp, we're, we're pretty much always focused on execution. And uh, that, that part hasn't changed at all. It's really great that you know we stayed with Coach Neuheisel with the receivers. There's definitely familiarity there just because the quarterbacks and receivers work so closely together. And it's always nice having a familiar face around. He worked heavily with the quarterbacks last year. And I'm excited for him. That's a, that's a big jump, big position. And I think he's earned it. Great. Thanks, Chase. Thank you, Tom. Uh, Luca, go ahead. Sorry. Hey, Chase. Luke Evans from LA Times. How are you? Nice to meet you, Luca. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. I uh, just wanted to go back briefly to something you, you mentioned about, you know, the benefits of uh, starting late. Uh, you know, in this this spring and, and ask you specifically, how do you think, you know, um, the, the positive and negative effects of maybe starting later than a lot of other, you know, programs in practicing this spring? I mean, as far as negatives, I can't really think of any. Um, as far as positive, I think one of the best things is the weather. Um, we, we've had pretty warm days each and every day. And that's definitely some that comes with the benefit of starting later. And I think, you know, that's that'll get you in good football shape. And if you can execute in this heat, then you can execute at any time. Uh, I'm used to it, but you know, every time I come out to LA, I sort of lose the, the Texas heat and this sort of jumps on me. So uh, getting back used to that is great. And then, like I said, starting consecutively, getting into a spring ball mode where it's a day in day out attitude and just the season is really a marathon. Um, and to be able to replicate sort of like a four or five week season now, um, I think is good conditioning. It can, it can be dredging at sometimes, you know, during the November, December, 
But those are the, when the games count. That's when you want to be playing. So if we can get into that mindset now where we can stay focused and execute each and every day, then I think that's good practice for this fall. Right, let's go to Sam. Hey, Chase. How you doing, man? How's it going, Sam? Going well. So uh, in practice today, there were a couple uh, botch snaps, uh, a couple that, that went past you or the other quarterbacks. Is that something like uh, new guys taking over at center, or something you're used to happening, just kind of something that happens in spring football, or is that a concern for you so far? Uh, I think, like I said earlier, spring is about cleaning up things. Uh, we have some new guys at that position, and, you know, they're, they're getting better each day. I think for me, the snaps were better today than they had been in some of the other practices. So during spring, it's all about it's win or win. So we're, we're really focused on making progress. And if we can make progress with that, uh, along with myself working on fielding those, then that's another skill under my tool bag. Uh, you always, as a quarterback, want to have different things that you're good at. And it's really not about that. For them, they're, they're still learning how to get the point, fit their blocks, so they're getting better as well. And then uh, we were talking about how you're in your second, third year with the team now, uh, but now you got Kajaya and Ethan coming in. Uh, what, what have you seen from them? What's your read on them? How, how well have they been playing through spring camp this past week? Uh, I've always been a guy who welcomed quarterbacks to the room because uh, that's what I expected uh, the quarterbacks here to do for me. And so here at UCLA, we're really just about whoever can add to our excellence and winning. And uh, I think both of them have been, you know, doing a good job of adjusting and strong in their commitment to the program. And, you know, if that helps us win games, then I'm all for it. All right, let's do one more question with Tony. Hey, earlier in the week, we had uh, we had Chase and we had Kyle, and they were talking about how more than what they have seen in previous years, players are staying after practice on their own to work out some more, stay on the field, get in more throws, more catches, whatever the case may be. Are, are you seeing that as well? And does that feel new to you or more than what it used to be? I'm not sure if, it, if it's new, but it's definitely what we have to do to set the standard of winning. Um, you know, you only have so much time with the coaches, but sometimes it's that time on your own when that receiver knows he's trying to work that speed cut and you know you're working on throwing that 10 yard out that when it comes third and eight in the game and the coaches call that up, it's a breeze. And it's important to have moments like that on the field where you can not only build confidence in yourself, but in each other so that when your name's called in the game, you're ready. So as a quarterback, then you're good staying staying afterwards. I mean, I know you got class in a few minutes, but you're usually good staying afterwards to work extra time with the receivers and help them. Definitely. And another thing, just been working on those meshes with the centers, um, just like a running back mesh mesh with the center really starts to play. So, uh, like I said, it's really clean up time, and when we get to practice. Uh, the, the time that we spend in the film room and after practice should show up and we should be cleaner each day. All right, Chase, thanks for your time. Thank y'all so much. God bless. We'll have Dorian Thompson Robinson sitting down here momentarily. All right, everybody, we're joined by Dorian Thompson Robinson. Once again, if you have any questions, please hit the raise hand button at the bottom of your screen. Yeah, Rick, go ahead. Hi, Dorian. This is your uh, fourth spring now? Uh, I think it's my third. I don't third know. Third spring. <laughs> anyway, OK, uh, you're, you're a veteran now. What is this spring, what's the difference between this spring uh, uh, camp to the previous springs? Um, you know, to be honest, I, I can't really remember what spring ball was like. Um, obviously we had three practices last year, um, but that was all just kind of getting started and stuff. So 
uh, you know, it's good to be back out here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really loving what we got going on here with the guys. And, uh, you know, it's looking good so far. So, What did you do in the off season to prepare yourself for the spring and, and onward towards the, your senior season? Yeah, um, you know, just doing whatever the coach has asked me to do, um, as well as just being a servant to my teammates, um, really just trying to be a, a complete uh, teammate um, and really doing everything I can for my guys and stuff like that. So uh, really working for my team and, and all that stuff. So. Well, good luck to you, man. Thank you. Uh, Sam, go ahead. Hey, Doran. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing well. So uh, I saw you're, you're shouting out Osa and Dimitrik uh, on, on social because they they're, they got a big night coming up, big weekend coming up. Uh, what's it like seeing the two of them kind of uh, prepare for their NFL dream when, when you and a lot of your other teammates are looking to make the same move in a year or two or whenever it ends up being? Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, those two guys, as well as the rest of the guys before them, um, they do a great job. They showed us the way. Um, they show us how to do it, coming in, working day in and day out. And, uh, you know, I couldn't be more happy for those guys. You know, I'm really good friends with Phil, obviously, him being an offensive guy, um, as well as also though. So uh, I'm keeping in touch with those guys and, and uh, picking up anything I can from Phil uh, going through the process. So. And then uh, you got Ethan and Kajaya coming in, joining the quarterback room. Uh, what have you seen from them? Uh, what's the, 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 the biggest pros from either of them? Obviously, two different guys, but uh, what stood out to you so far for them? Yeah, both really special um, when it comes to throwing the ball. Uh, obviously, um, Kajai being a freshman is always that learning curve coming from high school. Um, so, you know, he's learning the plays and stuff like that still. Um, Ethan, on the other hand, coming from uh, another university and stuff like that and kind of dealing with those guys over at Washington. Um, uh, dealing with those guys over at Washington, he's kind of more advanced. Um, so that's why he's getting more reps right now. Uh, but again, both special with the ball in their hands and, and it can really make plays. So I'm excited for those two. Uh, Luca, go ahead. Hey, Dorian. Luke Evans from the LA Times. How are you? Doing good. Good. I just wanted to ask about, um, you know, earlier this week, Coach Kelly kind of told us that really the only competition for, you know, you at quarterback is you and, you know, expressed confidence um, in you as the starter right now. You know, what does it mean to kind of um, have, I guess, your, your coach's support in that? Uh, you know, regard as you move forward this spring? Yeah, um, you know, me and Coach Kelly have a great relationship. And so, uh, you know, just knowing that he's behind me and stuff like that, and I can go to him for anything, whether it's questions or advice or anything like that, is really big. Um, but just really just my teammates, uh, you know, these guys are the ones that selected me and, and not really the coaching staff. So, uh, you know, I couldn't be more blessed and more happy to be here, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. So. Tony? Hey, Doreen. What's going on? Hey, so there are not a lot of teams in the country, especially in the Power Five schools, that have a third year starter at quarterback, you know, who's been with the same team, someone who didn't transfer in from somewhere else. That makes you a rarity. That makes this your team. Are you ready for that kind of responsibility that as the as you go, so goes the team? Yeah. Um, you know, working every day. Um, you know, I'm working for my guys. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see where things go and, and where things take us, so. What specifically, are, are there specific parts of your game that you worked on during the offseason leading up to spring camp? Uh, you know, I'd say the biggest thing was, like I said, being a servant. So, you know, picking up bottles after practice, um, cleaning up the field. Uh, you know, if there's a helmet or something left out there, picking up those, picking up shoes and stuff like that. Uh, making sure guys' lockers are closed, making sure guys are clean and everything, so. Um, I think that's the biggest thing I've worked on so far this offseason is just making sure I'm taking care of everybody but myself. So. <laughs> hey, man, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Any final questions for Dorian? Yeah, Luca, go ahead. Hi. Uh, yeah, just wanted to ask also as well, um, you obviously used your – your legs a lot more, ran a lot more um, last year than in previous seasons. And, uh, you know, are you working on any, you know, uh, particular implementing more play action or just in general, you know, run options for you into uh, the playbook this spring? Or is just that something you're looking for in general? Uh, you know, Coach Kelly's tweaked offense a little bit here and there, um, just kind of the, the 
the way we read things and stuff like that. But in terms of everything, it's still the general basic stuff that we install in the spring. Um, you know, we're not game planning anybody. We're not game planning our defense. Um, so we're just installing the basic stuff right now and trying to master that stuff. So. Rick, go ahead. Lorraine, can you talk to us a little bit about the new wide receivers? Uh, Keontez Lewis for one, uh, uh, Xavier Staples, uh, Cam, all those new guys, uh, and how they, what, what are they bringing to the table? Yeah, um, so obviously Cam coming from Texas A&M, you know, he's played in big games, played versus Alabama and those guys. So, um, you know, he's a big, big deep threat. Uh, and, you know, we've seen that so far um, just in the few practices we've had. Uh, K. Lou, uh, Keontez, that's my guy, uh, taking him to my wing and stuff like that, pushing him to go in there, watch film and stuff with Jerry. So he's learning the playbook fast, um, and, it's, and it's able to get him on the field and stuff like that, too. And then we got DJ and uh, Xavier. So um, both of those guys, again, they're following Keontez's lead, uh, really learning the playbook and the ins and outs of it. Um, and so I'm really excited to see what those guys can do for us and, and provide for this team. So you also seem to be in really good rhythm with the your veteran guys like Chase and Kyle and and Dulcich and 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 Blunt out there today. You look really good uh, getting the ball to the right people at the right time. Can you talk about that? Yeah, um, you know, obviously, like Sam said before, just being a, a third year guy um, and really you know, having that cohesiveness with everybody. I mean, just the whole offense in general. Um, but obviously, you know, Greg being my roommate um, and Kyle and Chase being a few doors down as well as the lawn. So, um, you know, just, just the chemistry we built just off the field. Um, I think it's just translated over on the field and stuff like that. So, uh, plus we're going out every day after practice and, and getting extra catches and extra throws too. So that doesn't help. So I'm that helps. So. And just tell us a little about about your offensive line, all veterans back. Uh, could be a strength of the team. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, um, you know, I love the, the big five up front. Uh, you know, we're missing Sam right now, uh, but John's doing a phenomenal job being in there, being the leader um, for the young guys like Bruno and, and Bo and stuff like that in that center. Um, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't speak more about the leadership that Paul and, and Alec and, and the rest of those guys are bringing, um, as well as Sean. You know, he's a worker in, day in and day out. So, um, you know, I'm very excited for those guys. Like I said, just the whole offense, man, I, I can't say enough how blessed I am to be a part of this team and, and where we're going and to see the things that we're doing and everybody's finally growing up. So, What do you think the ceiling is for your offense? Sky's the limit. Same with the defense. Uh, defense, special teams, um, and offense. All three phases of the game, I think the sky's the limit for this team. So, Thank you and continued success. Thank you. Let's go back to Sam. Hey, so uh, Jerry moving to receiver coach and you got Gunderson in at, at QB coach. What's that been like uh, working with Gunderson? And then also what's it like seeing Jim, uh, Jerry go and work with the receivers now? Yeah, um, you know, obviously I miss Coach Bible um, as well as Jerry uh, working with the quarterbacks last year too. Um, but you know, Coach Gunderson has done a phenomenal job. Um, really a player's coach, really somebody I can go to. I mean, I'm in his office at all times of the day, so. Um, just, just talking and, and going over stuff and, and stuff like that and being able to pick his brain. And, you know, he's, he's obviously coming from a different background than Coach Bible has, so it's a different way of seeing the game. Um, and I think it's benefited all the quarterbacks as well as just getting a new face and a new voice in there too, so. All right, we got anything else for Dorian? Okay, we'll wrap it up there. Thanks for your time, Dorian. Thank you.